This tutorial teaches how to use Cordova in Android Studio. First, we need to download Node.js. We recommend installation of the LTS version, long-term support for great stability and long-term support. Select appropriate version for your operating system. Now start the installation. Select the installation location. Type CMD in the search box to open command line. Now type the following command to make sure the installation has been successful. As you can see, an appropriate version of Node.js is being displayed. Now we need to install Cordova. Copy installation command. Now go back to the command interface. Choose a drive with operating system. Now copy the command with the right click of your mouse and press enter this initiates Cordova's installation Now we need to download Android Studio and SDK tools. Take the box and download the package to your drive. Install the Android Studio.
Select custom configuration. Select the location. Make sure that all of these elements are selected. Set the amount of memory that will be used for emulation. In the SDK manager you can check whether the latest Android is installed. Make sure you have all the necessary packages that you can see in the SDK tools installed. Open command line interface. It will be used to generate the application. Select the drive you want the application to be installed to. In our case, it's G drive in Cordova a folder. Now go to your product and open the PDF file. You will find quick comments here. Copy the following comment to create a project. Use the right click to paste it in. Now open the newly created folder with the cd command. Go back to your project and copy the files located in the android folder. and paste them inside the newly created folder. Go back to the command line and use the following command to add Android platform. In our case, it's 9.0. New files have been created. Once the process finishes, Open Android Studio. Import newly created project in Android Studio. Select Android in the Platforms folder and press OK.
this might take a while. With our project added, press the green play button to start the emulation. The app will be generated and installed on the virtual machine. It's a great way to test your application. If there are no issues with the app, you can start generating the APK. The APK file can be installed on your device or sent to Google Play. To do so, close the emulation. Under Build, select Generate Sign Bundle. Select APK. Here you may use your old certificate to sign the app or generate a new one. Select the location where the key will be stored. Provide its name. Enter your password. Provide the alias under which it will be saved. Provide your password. Set the validity of your key. Provide the necessary information in the fields below. We will enter some random uh, pieces of information for the use of this presentation. Here you need to provide your country code. Select release. As well as V2 option. Now press finish and wait till your file gets generated. Press locate to find the file. The following file may be installed on your device 
or sent to the App Store. We hope you find this tutorial useful and as usual thank you for your time.